Hi there, this is Tyler with the PaperCut support team. The PaperCut server command module is a command line accessible utility for the PaperCut web services API. This utility can be used on its own or within a script to manage user, group, and printer settings, or for an assortment of other administrative tasks like managing live backups and config keys. To use the server command module, first open up your application server's command line utility. Once that's running, navigate to the PaperCut installation path, followed by the subdirectory within that path, slash server, slash bin. Within the bin directory, you should see another folder that represents the OS that your PaperCut application server is running on. Navigate to that folder. Next, you can add the dot slash to indicate that you're running an executable from the current directory, followed by server command, and the commands and arguments that you want to submit. If you want a list of all valid commands and the arguments those commands take, check out our manual page on the subject, or run the server command module without any arguments. The value that you submit alongside the command will automatically be applied to an argument based on the order that you submit it in. In other words, submitting a command with arguments 1, 2, and 3 will apply to the first, second, and third arguments for that command. You cannot reorder the arguments for commands in the server command module. If I want to use a single argument command, say, to see if my account exists within PaperCut, I'd first type server command, then the specific command that I'm wanting to invoke. In this case, it's user exists. Then I'm going to follow that with my username that I want to check. The server will reply with a true or false response. Now that I know my PaperCut account exists, I want to add a balance so I can get printing. To do so, I'll run a more complicated command using two or more arguments. I'll start with the server command, followed by the command set user account balance, then I'll enter my username and the balance that I want to set my account to, and I'll add a comment for our records. Note, since there are spaces within that comment, I'll need to include those within a set of quotation marks, or the server command module might mistake the words of my comment as additional arguments for the command that I'm running. I'll just run a quick git user account balance to verify that my changes went through, and that's it. Now you know the syntax needed to run our server command module for easy access to PaperCut administration from your operating system's command line interface. If you need any additional support with the PaperCut server command module or anything else with your PaperCut system, head over to www.papercut.com support. There, you'll find tons of useful resources like manual entries and knowledge base articles. And you can reach out to our support team directly through that page. Thanks for watching and have a great day.